Hello everyone and I'm glad to welcome you all to the first episode of Greenfield Podcast. This podcast is brought to you by the English Literary and Public Speaking Club of Greenfield World School. Our guest for the first episode is someone who is an educator, a trainer, and a philosopher who has played a significant and impactful role in shaping the educational environment and the future of the students for many years. And so her inclusive and dynamic approach to leadership promotes a progressive, positive, and educational environment at Greenfield World School. She is none other than Mrs. Rezina Kaiki, the Vice Principal of Greenfield World School. We are a pleasure to have you here, ma'am. How has your day been going so far? Thank you, Angel. That was a really lovely introduction. And when, I, when you were speaking, I was really very proud of you. And talking about me, I am Rosina Karki. I am a Vice Principal of Greenfield World School. And it's been around five years that I have been working with Greenfield World School. And um, my days are going pretty great. Uh, this, uh, I have like, I am little occupied with the, uh, with the plus two uh, admissions. Um, since you know that we are starting plus two from this year and so we are doing the career counseling and we are doing the admissions we are doing the campaigning so pretty much occupied with uh, everything out here so i know that you have been an educator for quite a while now how has it changed your life both personally and professionally yes definitely uh, being an educator has changed my life uh, pretty much uh, so I would say I'm more patient and empathetic these days uh, my uh, uh, passion for life learning has been fueled by this role I'm constantly seeking for an opportunity to uh, learn more on the latest technology of um, educational trends and uh, latest research and juggling up with the uh, responsibilities I I have like uh, be, I, I am I'm, I'm pretty uh, uh, like I could manage my time well so I would say um, these all are the aspects which have changed my life in both personal and professional ways so yes being an educator has uh, made me more uh, more of a listener I would say since you have two adorable little baby girls and you are also the vice principal of Greenfield World School how do you manage your personal and professional life. So see, uh, every woman has their own circumstance. For me, it has been little easy since I have a very supportive family and I got a lot of support from schools management also. Uh, so uh, it was uh, little, not that difficult for me. However, sometimes uh, mom's guilt is always there. It happens to all the women, working women, I feel. What's the most rewarding thing about your role as a vice principal? Um, I would say uh, witnessing the collective growth and success of the school's community and um, uh, me helping the teachers with the professional development and seeing that uh, effort as an impact of students' outcome. For example, I could say you. For now, you are the most rewarding thing for me, uh, being a, a principal, a vice principal here. Uh, you've been doing so well uh, so far. You, you're so confident. So I would so say uh, uh, students uh, getting, achieving their goals and uh, celebrating their milestone is the most rewarding thing for me. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, like, from this year, Greenfield World School is finally adding a plus two. May I know, like, the subjects offered to the students to choose from and, like, the plans and visions on the college? So, this year, we are starting with management. Uh, we have computer science, business studies, and hotel management. Um, so, uh, the vision and plans would be to cultivate the uh, learning community that empowers students to be knowledgeable more knowledgeable, compassionate, um, uh, be a great le leader in their life and have a, a global recognition. So that would be the vision for PLUS2 this year. So like comparatively to other colleges, what's different about our college or what are the things that are provided in our college which 
other colleges may not be able to provide the students with. So as you know that our school has always been unique in so many ways. We are we probably are the first school uh, which provided. Uh, the concept of day boarding in beta mode so uh, we've thought uh, the same for plus 2 as well so we will be providing breakfast to our plus 2 students from school mess uh, students will be able to use all our modern infrastructure facilities for example we have swimming pools we have playground we have our own basketball court so um, and uh, even our computer labs and uh, library are it's it's uh, well equipped so they'll be able to use all these facilities and um, apart from this um, our students will be uh, we will be providing them different uh, leadership programs event management programs um different uh, other career setting programs which will help them uh, to be uh, a better better uh, citizen later on in their life thank you and yes fyi if i'm not wrong it's fyi right for your information we have air conditioned classrooms and um, as as our school has uh, like um, smart boards in all the classes we do have smart boards in 11 and 12 as well so ma'am if it's like not true to ask but can you give us a little bit of information about the fees the college no you cannot i was just putting the line don't worry <laughs> actually we are not that uh, expensive uh, when it comes to college we have started in a very low amount of money so money is not a matter to get enrolled in green girl school so you can spread the message likewise so like what's your vision for the school and the college in about 5 years one vision is to implement rigorous and relevant curriculum um integrating the innovative ideas the other would be uh, supporting students with the holistic development uh, whether not only in academics in their overall overall uh, development and um, providing a safe and inclusive environment uh, to the student because it's very important to like your school and college uh, to come and learn every day you have to like your school you have to have that environment where you feel safe and inclusive uh, so that would be my vision for uh, not 5 years but uh, yes for definitely upcoming years yes could you like share us or tell the audience a message a advice or a quote like for the upcoming youth who aspires to be a great educator like you okay so i would say be very compassionate cultivate the lifelong learning um, habit and uh, never underestimate the impact you can create to other people uh, so this is pretty much and uh, one more thing love your country do something seek opportunity in your own country because uh, youth like you all are the future of your country thank you thank you everyone and please look forward to the upcoming episodes please stay updated for the upcoming episodes of greenfield podcast i'm just going to give a brief description about literary club what is literary club uh, it is uh, just a newly introduced club from the english department of our school and there are many divisions inside the literary club itself and uh, our uh, club is responsible for making magazines for doing speeches and stuff like that so please look forward to the other episodes thank you and yes um from this year we are starting plus 2 management so uh, we welcome you for Uh, the career counseling and we are having admissions as well so come do visit us thank you